Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome to your three card reading for September 2018. Ooh, cards are flipping out already for you. Okay, we have some jumpers. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we go. I want you to just imagine that this sage is all around you. I am waving the whole uh, abalone shell here. Imagine the sage smoke all around you, cleansing, protecting. Here we go. All around the cards as well. And uh, congratulate yourself for surviving the summer. We had three eclipses and we had six retrograde planets, making everybody uh, more emotional and more inwardly searching than usual. Now things are going to be a little lighter and back on track for fall with the planets moving forward. So let's take a look what's going to come up specifically for you. All right. Your first card is Prince of Swords. Second card is Ace of Swords. Third card is the Star. Oh, well, that's nice. Okay. So Prince of Swords, this could represent you or someone close to you. So don't worry so much about, is it me? Is it some? Listen to the characteristics I'm going to describe and trust your gut with whoever first appears to your mind. Usually your gut is right. Now, the Prince of Swords is usually very clever and academic sometimes. Doesn't mean book smart, but like full of facts, full of little anecdotes. They might speak quickly. Um, they might be a good joker. Uh, he could be even sometimes a bit of a geek, you know, overly specialized in some subject. And the other thing about Prince of Swords, though, is that he's usually pretty scattered in his life. He's all over the place. He does not finish things. He doesn't show up when he says he's going to. Not all the time. Sometimes. So, not the most reliable person. Usually the mind is all over. That could be anybody. That could be somebody who has ADHD. That could be somebody who has other mental health problems. That could be somebody just going through a rough patch. And it could also be you, where you just feel you are scattered and all over the place. You're having trouble following through or finishing up something or making a decision. Now the Ace of Swords though represents the sort of truth like, thou shall not pass, you know, Gandalf there. Clarity, firm, simple, clear. That's what you're gonna have this month. Now, so if it's you who is the one who is all over and scattered, you're going to find yourself ready to take a decision and you're going to find enormous relief and clarity. The star means that whatever you've decided, it's actually going to work really well for you, <laughs> maybe better than you thought. So it's really important this month that you make a decision if this is you. If this is someone close to you, let's say you're coaching or guiding someone, it could be a sibling, could be a child, could be your spouse who's just all over the map about something, this is also what's going to help them. This Ace of Swords, uh, sorry, Ace of Swords, clarity, mental clarity is what changes everything. And that usually means people must choose a direction. And the star that follows it, I'll show you again, is a beautiful card. You see there's the, there's the galaxy. She's holding something above the earth and below the earth. And then there's other galaxies around. So it's, it's uh, it actually Aquarius is the, the sign for that card. So it, it'll bring you back to your inspired, visionary, you know, uh, playful, more idealistic, feeling better about the world at large, better about life. So it's time to get out of whatever uh, scatter and analysis paralysis you've got going on with the prince. Stop weighing the options. Um, if you're helping someone else, also don't enable and, uh, and keep asking more and more questions so that they keep analyzing on the same train. Like, they need to get off that train and, and pick a direction. 
it's it's really important that you choose something and that you start to get yourself centered and grounded around your goals otherwise you know that that scatter can stay there forever and you might be having a big party but you're not getting you're not really getting a lot of satisfaction or you're not getting a lot done because there's joy in accomplishment and there's joy in committing to something that just came through my mouth without me even thinking okay well those are channeled messages for you Aquarius Whew. now if you would like a um, if you would like a longer reading with me if you need some help you can reach me at river-rain.com clairvoyant medium Catherine Allen on Facebook or below this video wherever you happen to see it have a great month.